It's okay, we'll do what we can. Oh, there's another bike ahead of me that has a light on. Now my guess is it could be an e-bike, but we don't know. We'll see. And we did the, uh, the head nod. Yeah, see, they got a big tail light on, a really big bike. That thing looks bigger than my bike. Uh, we gotta come up to it a little bit. Let's see what they got. Oh yeah, big panniers on it. It's got a big uh, uh, thing. It says police. <laughs> That's the police. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's nice. Morning, officer. How are you? <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Nice to see you out here. Stay safe. Yeah, it's nice. That's um, that's actually a motorcycle that he has, that he's on the path. He's trying to keep the path safe. That's nice. Hey, this is Russ. It's the 4th of July. <laughs> Happy 4th of July belated for you guys. It's 4th of July for me right now. Time you see it. Probably a week or so afterwards, maybe a little longer. So, being the 4th of July, what time is it now? 8.43. Um, it's going to be another hot day today. It's expected to have possible thunderstorms at around 2 or 3 o'clock, something like that. You know, a lot of times when they tell you that it might rain, a lot of times it doesn't rain. <laughs> so you really never know. So I got up early, again as usual, and uh, watered the lawn, just in case. There's a good chance it probably won't rain. So today is uh, partly cloudy, partly sunny, whatever way you want to look at it. I figured I'd do the typical three mile path that we always do. Um, being a holiday, there might be people out there already, but it's early in the morning, so that kind of tells me that there's a good chance um, there might not be that many people out there yet. You get out there early enough, uh, it does tend to avoid people. Now, this path I see is littered with fire, fireworks stuff. <laughs> Somebody's been blowing things off over here. Not a smart thing to do when you got high tension wires around. What do you think? <laughs> I don't think that's too smart, especially if they're going to do things like bottle rockets or something like that. Wouldn't that be uh, a pretty dumb thing to do right by uh, lots of electricity? Well, what can I say? <laughs> things happen. I mean, I know as, as a kid, we used to like... Uh, blowing off a few firecrackers here or there, but we never did anything right next to high tension wires. Yeah, fireworks are not really allowed in our area for the average citizen to do. It's usually you should be, uh, should be just going to supervised uh, fireworks displays. And a lot of them, of course, happen the day before. So, uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't lit off a firecracker since I was a little kid. <laughs> little kid. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Since I was a little kid, I don't, I don't think I even did it when I was in high school or college or anything. So, I don't, I don't know what's actually allowed for us here. I think, I think you can buy. Sparklers, I think. Even sparklers are dangerous for little kids. You know, that thing gets really hot. Supervised, but still a little, little scary to give to a little kid. Um, but I think that's about all we're allowed to have. Now, if you go to Chinatown or something, you'll see firecrackers and stuff going off all the time. But I think they, um, I think they make the exception for Chinatown for some reason. It, it's usually under supervised things. You know, there's like some type of... Uh, festival or something like that going on and then they'll blow off a ton of fireworks uh, we're just talking firecrackers they don't do usually any of the aerial displays in Chinatown in the Chicago area but I remember once I was uh, video recording an event and um, they set off the fireworks it was literally right at my feet 
I can feel those uh, firecrackers hitting me. It was not, not good. And I had shorts on, it's hitting me in the leg. <laughs> so that's not good. And always be careful. And of course fireworks uh, usually keep going off for days after the 4th of July as well. People continue to blow off whatever they have. I, I know here in Illinois, because we're not allowed to have it, a lot of times they'll cross over to Indiana and buy fireworks and bring them over. And it's right at the, right at the border, you'll see these, uh, these uh, signs for, you know, buy your fireworks here, that type of thing, because they know that the guys who are buying them are illegally bringing them back over to Illinois. Don't know how they get away with that, you know, being able to, I guess legally they can sell it. What the buyer uses it for or brings it over illegally, that's up to them, I guess. But it's, uh, yeah, not the, <laughs> You start to wonder about, you know, is that really right to do that? But yeah, hey, people do it. I have noticed more bikes on the road lately, bike paths and on on the on street. And it's not necessarily, um, you know, e-bikes. It could be just regular bikes too. Thank you. And uh, so biking is becoming more popular. I mean, think about all the years that have gone by since you were a kid and maybe you didn't ride your bike and stuff. Uh, and now you're back out on your bike. Yeah, think about that. I hadn't ridden my bike in probably a good, oh, I don't know, 25 years or more um, before I got my e-bike. I always wanted to, I just couldn't do it with my bad knee. That's when I finally hung up my mountain bike and just said, I'm not, uh, I'm not able to do this anymore. And so it went off into the garage and sat there for a long time. Then we ended up moving. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. Good morning. And uh, And then uh, when we ended up moving, it went into the basement and it just sat there. It's still there now. I took it out once after I bought the e-bike. I took it out once just to see, could I do this? And the answer is, nope, can't do it. <laughs> um, all right, admittedly, my knee wasn't perfect yet back, back when I tried it. Um, it was probably a couple months after I bought the, the, the e-bike the first time. And, and um, so the strength, of course, still wasn't there in my leg and my knee. And so uh, I, uh, I said, yeah, this, this is going to go back to the basement. <laughs> so I, I like taking the e-bike out, of course. Now, we, we have lots of paths we can go to. I'm hanging around here still. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I've been doing this path for so long, for so many times now. Um, We've taken to the streets uh, for the last several rides, and I figured uh, maybe it's best to uh, get onto a regular bike path. You can see the greenery is no longer green anymore. All this stuff over here is kind of browned out along with the green, you know, after they cut down the, 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 the grass. It's just, it's just been so hot. It's just burning everything out and making things dormant. I don't think the grass is really growing anymore. All right, we will use the bell. Morning. So, uh, yeah, things don't look as green anymore. I, I always look forward to spring when, when this grass turns pure green. I mean, it looks so nice. And then it falls apart. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so one side stopping for us, the other side not so much. Morning. Okay, people are out on bikes. Morning. Good morning. Morning. Some people will say good morning to you, others not so much. But again, <laughs> I was watching the guy, 
he's kind of suffering coming up this hill. So I don't blame him. I probably wouldn't say any either if I'm uh, suffering going up the hill. So yeah, it's been a while on a regular bike. I don't think I will get back on it either, to tell you the truth. I do better with the e-bike. Good morning. I do better on this bike because I can pedal when I want, I can throttle when I want, I can go farther based on battery range, of course. Yeah, I'm still waiting for the Magicycle battery. It's not here yet. It's okay. It's okay, we'll do what we can. Oh, there's another bike ahead of me that has a light on. Now my guess is it could be an e-bike, but we don't know. We'll see. And we did the, uh, the head nod. Yeah, see, they got a big tail light on, a really big bike. That thing looks bigger than my bike. Uh, we gotta come up to it a little bit. Let's see what they got. Oh yeah, big panniers on it. It's got a big, uh, thing it says police <laughs> that's the police <laughs> ah, that's nice morning officer how are you <laughs> okay thank you so much nice to see you out here stay safe yeah it's nice that's um that's actually a motorcycle that he has that he's on the path. He's trying to keep the path safe. That's nice. I don't think I've ever seen a police out here before. Good morning. So they are patrolling. Yeah. I don't know if he would be going faster than me or not. He could if he wanted to. He's got a motorcycle. All right, he's a motorized vehicle on the bike path. <laughs> A motorized vehicle on a bike path. Okay, who's breaking the law now? <laughs> yeah, okay, that's controversial, right? But no, that, that is the absolute first time I've ever seen the police out on the bike path with a motorcycle. They need an e-bike. <laughs> now, I have seen uh, police with e-bikes, all right? So, um, yeah, they need to, they need to Get an e-bike out here, let them go on an e-bike. Patrol the paths. Make sure guys like me don't break the law. I usually do say hello to the police officers whenever I see them, tell them to stay safe. They don't know me, <laughs> but I still say it. Morning. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> That was fun. I, I thought for sure it was some type of e-bike, but no, with, you know, with all the stuff he had on there, it was so huge, made my bike look so small. Yeah, it's a motorcycle on there. It's a first. Good morning. It is a first. I'm glad I took the path today. I would have never seen that. Morning. Yeah, we usually get um, people don't say good morning to you. They'll give you the head nod and the like. Some people don't react at all. I think they're kind of surprised people are saying good morning to them. But uh, I, I do it. Practice the head nod. The smile with the head nod. So yeah, there's a lot of people. A lot of people on the path already. But again, uh, if you don't do it early in the morning, you're gonna suffer later on in the day. I've got the black sleeves on. Um, as opposed to the yellow ones. 
And I just realized that these uh, sleeves. Yeah, man, there's a there's a ton of them out here. Yeah, we may be getting off this path. <laughs> Uh, if it's like that on the other part of it, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to get on and get off. Um, yeah, I, I just realized that these sleeves yes, they actually have little cutoff holes for your thumb. So that's why the sleeves are longer than I thought they should be. So you can actually kind of wrap it around your, your hand as well. And uh, put your thumb through the little hole that they have on the sleeve. First, uh, when I first saw it, I go, oh no, it's, it's got a rip. Then I saw it on the other side too. <laughs> so it's designed for that. All right. I have gloves on, I don't really need that. So I wear it as regular sleeves. Okay, we are gonna go straight through. But again, making sure no left turners turn into you. Oops, big bump there, didn't see that. That thing's always there, it's just that I didn't, I wasn't looking around, I wasn't paying attention to the ground. After I tell you guys, do you guys look at the ground? <laughs> All right, let's get up to this. Push the button, doesn't matter, it's already turned. So let's go ahead and go through. So what do you guys think about having the police on the path with you? I'm okay with it, quite frankly. Then again, I come from a law enforcement background, so it doesn't really bother me. Some people get really freaked out when they see the police. <laughs> I don't. And like I said, I usually tell them to stay safe, appreciate them being where they are and doing what they do. And it makes their day a little bit, you know? Why not? They do a hard job. Good morning. Thank you. So that's nice. The guy said I had a nice bike. Most people say, you're cheating. <laughs> Get that thing off of our path. <laughs> it is a nice bike. All right, let's take the shortcut today. I'm not gonna go up the hills here. Let's take the shortcut, see what we got. Now, our viewer Dan asked me about some trails that uh, go off to the side. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, gravel trails you can take out in this area. I just don't take them. Um, People have asked me why in the past, and I'll tell you it's because um, you have a better tendency to possibly slide out. Like you see on the side here, you see these trails here, you can go off on those things. But uh, I kind of see it as, well, it's kind of running parallel to this path. Why would I want to take a path that has more ability to maybe slip out from, a, uh, have my bike slip out from um, being on top of it? I, I try not to do that. Of course, you know, like the path here goes up so there, there, there's some, uh, I guess there's some excitement of going up on um, gravel paths that go through the forest preserve and stuff, but yeah, that's not me. <laughs> maybe when I was younger, maybe I might try it, but no, I'm getting too old. <laughs> How old am I? I am 63. Now, a lot of you guys say you don't look 63, but hey, I'm 63. The hair is getting grayer, I noticed that. That should be a dead giveaway. But I do know some people get uh, prematurely gray too. I had a neighbor once, a duck open here, the trees are too overgrown. I had a neighbor once that, uh, as I was growing up, he, uh, I think he was like gray in his early 30s. And then his two sons, when they grew up, they were gray in their, uh, late 20s and early 30s too. So there are people who do go gray pretty quickly. But uh, 
I don't think I started getting gray until I was in my f late 50s, something like that. Good morning. I don't know what they were doing there. This person sitting there, I think they're looking at birds and stuff. There's a... Uh, I think they said there's owls nesting out here or something like that. Maybe they're looking for that. Yeah, I will say that uh, having these hydraulic brakes, I feel a lot more confident in stopping than I did when I had the mechanical brakes or when I had the hydraulic brake calipers with the standard uh, cabled brake line. That was better, but it wasn't as good as this. This thing, I can stop if I really need to stop. And especially when you're going relatively quickly, like right now, going down that hill, I was hitting about 22 miles an hour. You're breaking the law, yes, I know. <laughs> There's nobody here, okay? There's nobody out here. Is it hurting anybody? It's like, can people really hear you scream in space? <laughs> it's the same basic concept. Okay, there's a lot of people out here. I'm gonna take this up and then I'm gonna get out. All right, yeah, there's a lot of people here, so we can't decide where we're gonna go. I'm gonna go straight though. Good morning. Um, yeah, I think if, if you're going a little bit fast on these paths and there's nobody around you, I don't think that's a real big deal, to tell you the truth. Nobody's here uh, radaring you. Maybe that cop's gonna do that, huh? <laughs> I don't think so. I think he's just making sure people are safe on the path. I don't think he's there to enforce how fast you're going. Now, of course, that was speeding hard going down there, that big another story. I think he probably would have came after me then at that point, right? And then he's doing his job. But uh, no, sometimes the police presence is there just so that you know they're there, that you're safe, they're patrolling. I've worked in law enforcement, but I was always a support person. I did all the ev evidence collection at crime scenes. So I've seen some stuff. I've experienced a lot of things that the average person probably would never have experienced. Um, people ask if I miss that, and I will tell you, yeah, I do. I really do miss it. All right, here's the infamous stop sign. You're passing the stop sign, right? Okay, let me show you something here. We've shown this before. Stop sign, okay, let's stop. Okay, let's stop here. Straight ahead that way, gated. So it's roped off, no cars come through. Uh, I know you can't see it, but down this path, gated. No cars come through. <laughs> this is why nobody stops at this path. And there's no stop sign on the other direction. Go figure that out. It makes no sense to me. It makes absolutely no sense. Okay, we're gonna slow down here. Morning. Morning. Yeah, you share the path, you, uh, if you're courteous, you say hello to people, have a nice smile on your face, people are happy, you know. Good morning. Morning. So if you don't uh, do stuff like that, yeah, people could be grumpy, you know, spread a little bit of cheer around the world. Good morning. All right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get off this path. It's a lot more people out here than I thought would be so early in the morning on the 4th of July, but yeah, maybe like me, they're trying to get their uh, morning walk or ride in. Good morning. See, most folks do say good morning to you. you know, if we all just kinda be nice, we'll, we'll get a good thing. Okay, this is where uh, the other stop sign is. Good morning. <laughs> he seemed a little tired. <laughs> He's been running on the path, right? Then you got lazy guys like me who ride a bike.
man, there's a ton of people out here. Man, it's just gonna pick up um, rollerbladers and stuff. Um, I haven't seen that many rollerbladers in a long time, but you know, lately I have seen a couple. I gave my rollerblades to my uh, next door neighbor. Yeah, he's a doctor and he, um, he has two kids along with his wife. Kids had rollerblades, but he couldn't find any. I says, I got rollerblades and I gave him a, a pair of rollerblades. Probably cost me about $150 back in the day, made by rollerblade. It was actually a really good set and I only wore it like twice before I had to give it up due to my bad knees. So um, I, I had put on faster, uh, faster ball bearings on there and everything. So that thing did pretty good. So he was happy to get it slightly bigger than his feet, but uh, he was able to make do with it. And I was watching him, you know, on the street. Yeah, this guy goes backwards. He does the little circular things and everything. He, he knows what he's doing. I'm surprised he didn't uh, have a set for, of his own. Maybe he's done it in the past and he didn't keep it or something, I don't know. All right, we're gonna get off the path. There's just too many people here. Let's take it over here. Head out of here. And more bikes ahead of us there. So we gotta decide. Do we pass through? Do we go through? How's the thing going here and it looks like we can probably do it though I can't see the stoplight I don't know why I can tell from the pattern of the traffic all right let's hit the button <laughs> they don't give you a, a lot of space right here I know you can't see it but the way that the sidewalk is built here with little curb things it's probably okay if you're walking it but it's not okay if you're riding a bike it makes it really hard to turn all right we're gonna cut through this this uh, shopping center like we've done in the past and I'm gonna show you the secret shortcut to get back onto the street that I usually end up taking when I do this. I didn't realize this until uh, later when I actually saw it. Okay, they are waiting for me, so I wave thank you to them. Yeah, you can hear the, uh, the front rotor gurgling with my uh, brakes it doesn't seem to affect it any it's you know because the rotors are kind of cut out there are little holes in there I think when it hits the brake pad it tends to make it gurgle um, it stops perfectly fine somebody said that you need to make a better alignment on it probably so I've been too lazy to do it I probably should but it does stop with no problems really So yeah, this shopping uh, shopping uh, center took a hit from the pandemic. One or two businesses ended up closing in here, but most of them have stayed on. But there are, there are larger places, Dollar Tree, Five Below, Target, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Ross, Dress for Less, Aldi's. So, you know, you got some larger companies that are going to hang around. Off to the right, uh, the left side here, I don't know what is in these buildings. I think they're pretty much empty, maybe. I, I think one of them is some type of dialysis place or something. And then again, to the, to the left of me, there's uh, Chipotle. We'll pass them in a second here. This is Chipotle to the left. What else they have? Further down, they have Home Depot over there. They've got... Uh, what else they got? They got a Baskin Robbins slash Dunkin Donuts up ahead. Um, okay, we're not gonna go through there. I'm gonna show you this shortcut here. I noticed this little path one day and I said, well, look at this. You just kind of slide up onto this thing and it cuts you through 
to the streets further ahead. <laughs> Can't beat that. So, uh, so far, so far I've been riding uh, roughly about seven miles or so, give or take. My uh, battery meter is at 84%. I've been throttling, throttling a lot. Not heavy throttling though, just kind of conservative throttling where you're just using it a little bit but not a lot. If you, if you do it that way, that's the same thing as pedaling as far as the wattage usage, okay? Because as I'm pedaling here, I can see my wattage usage is between like 250 to 350. If you throttle and keep that wattage thing to 250 or 350, it's the same thing as pedaling as far as uh, power usage. If you, if you hit the throttle hard, you know, it's probably like 900 or more. Now they put a stop sign here, but really, um, there, there, there's not even a cross street there. There's a cross street here, but there's no cross street there. They just want you to slow down and stop so you don't, you know, enter into a, a cross section of street. Because um, in that general area, it's mostly a parking lot there. Come out of the parking lot, you know, you want to make sure you know that you're back on the street. <laughs> So where should we head? I think uh, we'll head back to the bike path area where we usually get on, but instead of taking a right, we'll take a left onto it, see how many people are down that way. Yeah, the thing is, you know, if you, if you keep trying to hold your, hold your hand and hold your thumb in the same position for a long time, it does tend to uh, fall asleep on you. You kind of get numbness in the in that hand which I'm feeling now because I've been trying to hold this thing for so long um, at a lower level and if you hit it hard you know you probably don't have as much problems I usually hit it hard when I first start up and that eats up a lot of power but that kind of gets my bike going for me this is why you'll see that I don't usually hit the gears it's still sitting in gear 7 pedal assist level well, it says 4 I'll drop it back down to 3 um, because when I need that extra power to get moving, instead of going to a lower gear and then moving my gears up, I just hit the throttle hard, get me moving to the level of where I would normally be with uh, gear number six or seven. That's kind of the lazy man's method. This is why I kind of think that I probably, probably would not be so good with a hub motor without a throttle. I'm so used to doing it that way that lacking that throttle would be kind of hard for me the way I ride but I know that the uh, the die-hard people who love uh, mid-drive motors uh, would say well you got to learn to to do it it's true got to learn to do it it's just that uh, I just kind of see it as more work <laughs> Time to flip the uh, the gear shifter all the time. Yeah, on this doesn't seem to be that many people now. Seems to be more people on that three mile path that goes around in a circle. It's actually not a circle; it's an oval. <laughs> But uh, you know what I mean. I like going on there when I just want to talk and not think. Because all I know I don't have to worry about any cars coming. I could just go around and around and around. So when I did that uh, video that was over an hour long about things to look for um, when considering an e-bike and also the, the senior video we did it over there because I knew that those videos would be long because the topics would be long and um, so I just go on there just throttle and keep going I have to think about things 
So why are these videos so long? Because uh, uh, recently I had someone ask me uh, to try to keep them under 30 minutes. And in general, video is probably better under 30 minutes. But I told them that you know when I'm on a roll of talking and we're discussing maybe a topic or something, I just want to keep it going and get my thoughts across. Because even when I split it up, you know, and some people do split it up. Good morning. If it's scripted, it's it's one thing, but they're not scripted. They're things off the top of my head, and you know how short of a memory I have. If I don't get it out there and then, I'm probably not going to get it out. Car stopped for me. So that's why I keep it going. That's why it's over an hour and something long. Good morning. I wanted to make sure that the, the topics were covered and, um, and the like. Now, Somebody did make a mention that uh, he disagreed with a lot of stuff that I had to say. Okay, that's fine. All right. Um, a lot of people agree with what I have to say. Um, and um, but again, he. I think he. Um, good morning. He builds uh, e-bikes and stuff. But I said, you know, I'm I'm talking about the average consumer. Um, they're not going to build a bike. <laughs> They're not going to build a bike. They're going to buy a pre-made bike. And he was saying that the pre-made bikes aren't as good. They're going to fall apart. Well, okay. You can you can think that. That's fine. I'm, I, I didn't delete it or anything like that. But it's, it's not of my opinion. I think the average person is not going to build the bike. They're going to buy a pre-made bike. And if that's the way they're built, then that's the way they're built. <laughs> There's not much we can do about it. Okay, the, the lady's eating berries off of the... Uh, off the bush. I hope she knows what she's doing. I've always been ner nervous about that. Eating anything off of a thing that's wild like that. You, know, you don't know what you're gonna get you're eating stuff off of bushes. You gotta really know what you're doing before, before you do anything like that. It's like people who pick uh, mushrooms, right? You really gotta know what you're doing. You don't want to just pick any mushroom and start eating it. So. So yeah, so I made that video relatively long because I covered a lot of uh, stuff and I wanted to stay within a certain amount of detail as well. Good morning. Um, some of my stuff is a little too long, I know. But here, here's one thing that was pointed out to them that could be helpful for you too. If you're watching my videos and they're too long for you, you could always shut it off and come back to it. YouTube will start back up at the same spot that you stopped it at. Good morning. So you could always come back and watch and finish off if, if you have other things to do. You can't sit there for an hour and something to watch something like that long. Good morning. Or you could just uh, stop watching and don't, don't get the rest of the information, right? Personally, I think if you watch that video and you uh, and you watched it to the end. There's a lot of good information there. Um, whether you agree or not. <laughs> so there's, okay, let's put it this way. There's a lot of information there. <laughs> good or bad, there's lots of information there. So why are my videos so long? Well, I, uh, I'm riding to a certain length of time, okay? Sometimes I pedal, sometimes I don't. And, uh, and you guys keep me company. So why don't you edit it? Well, it takes a lot of time. <laughs> it takes a lot of time to edit it all out. I watch it all as I'm doing it, and, and then I'll throw in things like graphics if I need to. But uh, removing stuff, I'm, you know, yeah, you could do that, but people have told me they like the longer rides, and if, if you don't, you could always shut it down, right? So it's, uh, it's good for me. Uh, let's take a left here. It's good for me to just let it run. Anyways, this video has probably been pretty long too. Probably time to say goodbye for this one. So, yeah, let's let's say the goodbyes today, and then I'll pick it up, and then we'll continue it for the next ride. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if, if you haven't already done so. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.